Yeah, but he's not here because he's covering football or whatever. Mm -hmm. And as a substitution, I still get top billing over Craig. That's fine. How'd you get Vinny's frame there? That's pretty what do you mean? impressive. Showed up in the studio. Actually. I guess so. Yeah. This is the first WWE programming I've watched in like a month or two. I think oh, maybe wow. longer. Yeah, lucky you, Lance. This, this thing had everything on it. No, it didn't. It had nothing on it. Alexa flipped out, and she was actually eating the stuffing at one point. No, they put something in her mouth so she would foam at the mouth. It was like an Alka Seltzer or something Excuse like that. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, like, she's got... I like uh, my version better. Hey, listen, I know everyone's going to be up in arms, but, I mean, go back and watch it. She had white goo coming out of her <laughs> mouth. Am I wrong? Priest fell down a couple times. Yeah, there was a spot where he was going to do something on the apron, but he literally fell off the apron, and then he had to jump back up onto the apron. He's stealing Arn Anderson spot. There's three women here, all of which are really good, all of which are really popular, Two of them are heels, and I'm just really confused. Sasha attacked... Who did she attack for the DQ? She hit Bianca. Bianca. Okay, so she attacked Bianca. I don't even know why. Becky just strolled in, stole her match at SummerSlam, won the title, and it's like Sasha would want... Oh, no, but Becky's the champ. Yeah, it's all screwed up, because Becky's the champ, <laughs> yeah. so she wouldn't want... Lance trying to figure this out, and he's confused. Bianca, watch your back. Bailey's coming back pretty soon. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'd have to do the math. I'm not sure she can be back pretty soon. You doing math is a, is a losing proposition. True. <laughs> he's got to be like that nice, friendly guy that takes the pictures on Instagram, where he puts his hands by his sides and goes like this, and when you hear the dun-dun... Finn is on his stomach, and he goes like this. Dun, dun. I'm like, what in the fuck am I watching? David is our first guest host here today, and uh, he is coming to us, I believe, from the uh, the jolly old UK at 5 o'clock a.m. Is that right, David? Yes. As I wipe the stick dust from my eyes, that is correct. I'm getting a message here. You seem like you're getting <laughs> a lot of messages, point. Granny. Is there any way you could turn that off for like uh, 15 minutes or so? Yeah, I guess I could. They're hemp shoes. Uh -huh. And uh, I wore them all summer, and they didn't smell. And uh, then I decided, since my shoes were so over, that I would wear them to Chicago for the AW weekend. And uh, I got home from Chicago, and they smelled. So uh -huh. uh, they have been retired. The toe shoes are no more. Favorite milkshake? Chocolate. I guess, because I don't know what you're talking about. You what don't know a what a milkshake, milkshake is? is? A what? A milkshake. Oh, a milkshake. I like vanilla. Vanilla. That's my favorite. I like the ones that bring the boys to the yard. Did you watch the main event of that show, Vinny? Which show? SmackDown? Extreme Rules. Are you paying attention? No, I know. Charlotte won. She's a, she's a dirty fighter. And not <laughs> only that, she's homely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she is. She's homely. Facing Kamala, the Undertaker also had to fend off his manager, skinny little Harvey Whippleman, and his handler, Kamichi. They constantly Kamichi. interfered. Finally, <laughs> the attacker gave... <laughs> the attacker or the taker? The attack gave the attacker out the win. That was it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Granny. Worth every penny. If uh, Wrestling Observer Newsletter best move ends up being the V-Trigger, they better say it's Jorge Masvidal's V-Trigger. Because his fucking V-Trigger that he gave Chris Jericho blew Kenny Omega's V-Triggers out of the water. He may have killed Jericho for all I know. There are things I have seen in AEW that I never, ever expected to see. We can add to that list Mark Henry interviewing Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> you don't realize that this guy was in NXT? You realize that this guy was recently. the number one draft pick, whatever the, the, the legitimate sports college analogy would be, and he did not go to the main roster. He went to the other show. Meanwhile, not to steal anybody else's material, but it was brought to my attention today. Look at these guys you got on the main roster. Uh, God bless them, but Commander Aziz. Well, he's big, Brian. Shankly. I have no idea who that is. It's a perfect summary of what's going on with these two companies and why one is doing very well and why one is nosediving. 
Let me tell you there's between you and me. He brings up a carjacking, Vinny. He did. He says, if some guy tries to carjack your car, mm-hmm. you're going to give him the car and you're just going to say, I don't want any trouble. But if someone tries to carjack my car, I'm going to pull that clock out and I'm going to blow their brains out. I'm not going to associate with a loser. Come with me, Lee. That's pretty much how it went down, yes. But they agree that Ruby No-No, as Britt calls her. <laughs> she, 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 <laughs> I loved it because it's such an, a dumb line. Yes. But then the other heels just start cackling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they howled at la- with laughter at Ruby No-No. Oh, called her No-No. I mean, perfect story. It's so simple. The fans went crazy. Happy ending. Yep. People are crying. It was just awesome. He's talking here about Brucey and Speed Dial and... Tony Schiavone just mutters, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> I love Tony. So, and then Punk points out, everybody in the business has Brucey on speed dial. Something to brag about. The uh, 630 where he lands right on Miro's nuts. Ooh. And literally as he's pinning him, Miro is grabbing his balls through the three count. Ooh. Which I hope leads to a promo about his hot wife. If you liked this episode of NXT, you may want to turn off the Brian and Vinny show right now. If you work for NXT, I su- highly suggest you turn this uh, show off. Why? Right now. Because I'm going to Bro, say all I heard today was from people that wish they could get out. Well, like don't th- don't think that everyone there thinks the show is awesome, and I'm some heel because the- I said the fucking show sucked. I mean, trust me. It is like all the worst parts of a terrible current Raw, a terrible retro ECW show, and a terrible Giant Gonzalez match. It just sucks. This is the point where I texted you and said I am one minute in this match and ready to quit this show forever. Uh, then I went to commercial break. I watched every commercial, every shill, every product, every jingle, because I would much rather watch Elton John and Little Nas X plug food delivery than watch B-Fab do whatever this was that was supposed to be pro wrestling. I know they're happy because it got some press, but I'm like, there's more important things in this world than getting press. Uh, one of them is having a good show, but that's, that's, that's lower on the list than getting press. Which is funny because they don't want press, usually. My name is Braun Breaker. Because every promo has to start with somebody saying, my name is blank. He says he is here to whip ass. If that's harsh, he doesn't give a shit. If you want friends, go get a dog. Hint, hint, wink, wink, say no more. Dexter Loomis is the fucking greatest. I mean, I have so turned the corner on this guy. Like, I don't know what's going to happen when he starts wrestling again, but, like, as a character doing all of this stuff with Indy and the wedding and the honeymoon and the bachelor party, he has been fucking golden. There's photographs of her in the WNBA. She's talking about all of her accolades as Lash Legend. Yeah. (sighs) Sickening. Why bother? Why know. bother hiring real athletes if you're just going to give them new fucking names? What's know. the fucking point? That is the catchphrase for NXT in the late era of 2021. NXT, what's the fucking point? 